I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, it's almost Oscar time. Who's going to win, who should win, who will win, and who will get snubbed? My predictions right now. Best Director. With the stunning omission of Ben Affleck from the Best Director category, the path is clear for Steven Spielberg to win for Lincoln. Spielberg remains one of the most popular figures in Hollywood history, and it has been 15 years since he won for Saving Private Ryan, and 20 years since Schindler's List. He's actually due. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. If anyone's going to spring an upset in this category, it would be Ang Lee. He would actually be my choice for the amazing visuals he brought to Life of Pi. Lee should win, Spielberg will win. All five nominees in the Best Supporting Actor category are previous Oscar winners. Philip Seymour Hoffman has the showiest role, and he was magnificent in The Master, but there's just no love for that film. Alan Arkin and Christoph Waltz are recent Supporting Actor winners and relative long shots here, though I believe Waltz should win. He's great in Django Unchained. But it's going to come down to two Wiley veterans, Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln and Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook. This is one of the closest races of the night, but Tommy Lee Jones is such a crab ass, I think De Niro gets his first Oscar since Raging Bull some 32 years ago. Let me tell you, you gotta pay attention to the signs. When life reaches out with a moment like this, it's a sin if you don't reach back. I'm telling you, it's a sin if you don't reach back. Helen Hunt's work in the sessions was brave, touching, brilliant, sexy, and heartbreaking. She should be a lock to win supporting actress, but the overwhelming favorite here is Anne Hathaway. Why? All she did was sing a couple of songs and die. Hathaway didn't even give the best supporting by an actress in her own movie, but she's guaranteed to win and guaranteed to give us another one of those breathless acceptance speeches. What's the matter with that? Daniel Day-Lewis pretty much won best actor when the poster for Lincoln was unveiled. He's arguably the best living actor in the world. It will be a huge upset if anyone else wins. Hugh Jackman is probably the closest contender, but Day-Lewis should win and he will win. And it's true because it works. Four of the five Best Actress nominees have a real shot in maybe the closest race of the night. Naomi Watts has an outside chance for her tremendous work in The Impossible. And there's a lot of momentum for two recent breakout stars, Jennifer Lawrence in Silver Linings Playbook and Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty. Chastain gives the performance of the year. I hope she wins. I think right now the favorite is Emmanuel Riva for Amour. The Academy loves feel-good stories. And it would be pretty awesome to see the Oscar go to a woman who was born the year the very first Best Picture winner was released. Up until about two seconds ago, I was going to go with Emmanuel Riva, but now I'm going to say it, Jessica Chastain wins. She should win. She will win. Very, very close race. Well, it's 100%. I know certainty freaks you guys out, but it's 100. There's been some talk of Argo winning Best Picture, which would put an Oscar into the hands of producer Ben Affleck, but only three times in Oscar history has a film won when the director wasn't nominated. My favorite film of the year, Zero Dark Thirty, actually seems to be losing momentum while the buzz around Lincoln continues to grow. Look for the Academy to play it safe here and go with the very solid Lincoln over more adventurous fare like, for example, Life of Pi. I think Zero Dark Thirty should win, but Lincoln will win, and Lincoln will win the most Oscars of the night. I'm Richard Roper. You get all my Oscar predictions and much, much more on Reels and at RichardRoper.com.